Welcome back to part three of the booth flip with Craig from Richmond Clay Works. In this video, this is the final part and you're going to see the entire Reactions family to the booth, the new setup, and we're going to talk about a little bit of the flow and the merchandising and perceived value. We hope you enjoy. Place settings up front, you know, having a place to show people my dinnerware in, you know, like a table setting. Uh, I would just add, you know, like my silverware and a napkin ring. And, you know, I like having these bowls up front. Your idea of getting some of the lower um, cost items out front uh, is certainly something that I, I want to play with. Having this as a station, I, I really like because I am trying to take more orders. I want to have this set up as a place where I can describe the process of how to order your custom dinnerware mm -hmm. and having some options visible close at hand. And then I can also use this for my transaction processing, my yeah. point of sale, uh, you know, like my packing materials. I, get, I mean, I get everything into a station wagon. And yeah. as a potter, that's no small task. Like the booth um, properly perceives the value of your product. I think it's probably. It steps it up a little bit. Uh, well, thank you so much for yeah. doing the booth flip with us. You can definitely check out Craig on his Instagram page or his website. I love your work, and it's so great to see my pieces on your work mm -hmm. and to get a feel for what the booth would be like. I mean, yeah. it's it really shifts the whole vibe of my space, and I, I mean that in a positive way. Yeah. It up. Definitely hang out with us on more YouTube videos. You can follow us on Instagram, see all behind the scenes. Um, thank you again for coming over and doing this with us. Yeah, thanks for having us.